to conflict of another nature now, and Australia's thoughts could be on the brink of an industrial battle to match the 1998 waterfront dispute as the standoff over wages turns ugly. Port operator Patrick Stevedores has said it will not pay workers engaged in legal strikes. To tell us more, we're joined uh, from Sydney by Mick Dolman from the Maritime Union of Australia. Thank you for your time this morning. Take us through, this is the first I guess many of us have heard about this dispute. What's been happening? Well, we've been endeavouring to conclude an enterprise agreement that expired in October last year. Negotiations commenced in September last year and we've had numerous number of meetings to try and close the gap between the parties. Uh, we've been unsuccessful and as late as Tuesday, um, the members took a decision that unable to get to the important ingredients of the retirement benefits and safety in the workplace have regrettably had to have taken uh, protected industrial action under work safe, uh, work, uh, Fair Work Australia. Let's go through some of your claims just for starting. You, you, you had an opening gab, gand of uh, pay rises of 10% over three years, an increase from, in super from 9 to 13%, and a $5,000 sign-on bonus for every worker. Now, for a lot of other Australians uh, who are not earning that kind of money, it seems like a, a, very, a, a very tall order. Look, that's the argy-bargy of enterprise negotiation. It's a tough game out there. I mean, that, uh, the company came back and offered a, uh, a package to us in January, which is a very, very poor package. Um, the issue of the monetary outcome are there to be negotiated if the company would sit down and do it. The key issue for us, issues for us, is workers' health, working in a safe environment so they can enjoy increased benefits in their retirement. So that's the key issue, and we want the company to come back to the table and discuss those issues in a meaningful way. Now, as you say, this has been going on for some months. What work bans were you prepared to put in place? Well, the work bans are withdrawal of our labour, eight hours or 24 hours, and we don't expect to get paid for those. The other bans are that we won't, uh, do unreasonable, won't do overtime or won't do upgrades out of our classification. Now, we have a legitimate right under Fair Work Australia to do that, and we expect to be paid. I think the company is uh, being provocative and testing the law of Fair Work Australia. If they wanted to intervene in this process, they could have come along to the Commission hearing on the 23rd of February and argue against us having a protected action ballot. They chose not to t attend. Now they're arguing uh, that we're exercising our rights under the laws today. I think uh, Patrick's reference to 1998 dispute is uh, th they are the ones that are rattling the chains of bygone eras. We are not interested in that. We have negotiated four enterprise agreements successfully without one in day of industrial action in, up since that dispute in 98. We're not going there. If they want to, somebody better remind them that John Howard doesn't exist anymore. There is actually fair work in Australia. And that was a very ugly time for everyone involved. Uh, what is the likelihood that it will get to that? Absolutely no way in the world from our point of view. But if that's the ambition of Patrick's, to resurrect the, the demons of 1998, they need to go back and look what happened there. They were found guilty of fair, un, unfairly sacking their workforce. They then went and sacked their scab labour that they employed, and we went back to work uh, vindicated of our actions in that dispute. So, again, remind them John Howard isn't here anymore. Now, you have, as you point out, been given permission by, uh, under the Fair Work, Fair Work Agreement to go ahead with these work bans. Patrick's are saying that, that they're going to lock you out and uh, certainly not pay you. Do you expect to go back to, the, to, to another hearing to try and proceed with this action, or are you just going to take Patrick on? Oh, we have said to Patrick at the last meeting we had, trying to bargain in good faith, that we'll, we will withdraw the actions if they come back with a reasonable fair income offer that will engender those discussions in good faith. Uh, so look, uh, we're not looking to escalate the dispute. The rhetoric is on Patrick's side of the equation. We want to get an enterprise agreement as we have on the last four occasions since 98 without resort to industrial action. Nick Dolman, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you.